Okay, so when I left off, I was making this column. Here I've got to put the end on the column. Here I'm going to run, run, run this line up. Now as long as I draw this line vertical here that I'm going to draw in place, when it hits here, then I know I'm done. Um, I'm going to go a little bit quicker after that. I'm going to put another column. I'm going to jump two spaces forward and put another column here. And then I'll probably jump another two spaces forward and put another column here. I'm going to go quickly so this will be edited to be hopefully much shorter than what has happened so far. And um, all the size of these things is coming out of the video. This is what's so important about linear, this kind of, this complex, this um, system is it's, it's going to be very convincing in terms of diminishing size of things going back into space. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the size of this um, two by two box here. I will slide it back either a space or two and it might be running here and pulling up. This, this next one is going to be much smaller and I'll do another one and that will be smaller too. When I put the two columns in over here, they will be much bigger. The width will be bigger and the height will be bigger. And even the width of the side plane here, this is the, gonna be the foreshortened side plane, is gonna be bigger too. Um, and that's what perspective, a perspective system like this gives you. It can give you a really convincing illusion of space based off size contrast. Okay, now when I get to here, because I have this measured on the bottom, I know how far one unit out is, and I'm kind of repeating, I'm repeating this column of this as if it slid forward, it's going to be the same size. So to figure out where this line is going to end, I have to run this line up. Again, it's all figured out, it's all determined by the perspective system at this point, and you have to be creative in how you're using the system. Now this, because it's gonna be the same size, this line here is gonna, should extend and go right to that corner. Okay, pretty much. Now again, I've my measurement is happening on the bottom right now. So I need to extend this line up and where this vertical line hits is where this is gonna end. You can see how much bigger this is than that and how much wider this is. Now that plane is partly obscured back there, it's partly buried. Now um, if I wanted to draw a diagonal line on this wall at this height, it would actually it would be this line right here. This, this line is on this, on this wall plane. This is the ground plane and this is the wall plane going back. But this line would sit here. Now I could do... Um, Actually, you know what, that's wrong. If I wanted to do an eight foot height line, I would come down, I would draw, I would have to draw a horizontal, and then I would do a diagonal this way, and I would get an eight foot. Because this is, I don't know if you can see this number here, but this is eight. And if I use the scale of two inches, each one of these spaces is two inches, um, then this is eight feet high. Now just one more thing, and then I'm gonna make this go faster is I can see through these forms. So the back edge of this form would go here and then would run up. And then its corner would be where the horizontal line out of here hit this. You can modify these shapes that you draw. So I'll do some modification. I might put some, some angles on these, but they're still all gonna conform to the perspective system. That's the front base of the new column. That would be the back edge. One last thing I want to say about this is I'm, I am going to 
make these forms a little bit more complex, but at the same time, I'm going to keep things, I'm keeping things somewhat simplified so that I want you to feel like the drawing that you make is within reach. As long as you keep things tied into the perspective system, things are going to work. If you wanted to put a um, patchwork pattern on the wall, you could do that. There are a thousand different things you could do. And this is where you have to be creative and you have to take chances and you might make some mistakes and that's fine. If you can get this grid system set up and you can draw just a couple things on it to start, then you're gonna have been successful. Another column there. See how the column's getting bigger. Now, this didn't quite line up here. Um, and now this looks pretty, pretty straight all the way through. I'm not gonna sweat it too much right now, but I might look at it later, I might adjust that. Now this is a funny alignment here, but this, this is not gonna happen in all cases, but this, when I draw this line on the surface, it's gonna happen to just coincide with this angle here. That's not always gonna happen, that's a bit random. Just like with the these cabinet-like things over here, these lines all line up. They're all pushing back towards the vanishing point, and these lines all line up, and these all line up, and these all line up, going back to the vanishing point. The same thing is gonna happen here. This edge is gonna line up with the edge I'm gonna put here. When I extend this edge, it's gonna catch the edge because there it's basically like sliding this thing back in space along a track, a fixed track going right back towards that vanishing point there. Again, I don't know how long to make that line. I've made it too long, because there's two feet. 